Hello, 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 my babies. How are we doing? Are we ready for the lovely new moon that's coming up? Well, welcome to another wonderful episode of Spiritual Tea Time with Reverend Patience here on Indigo Psychics TV. Today, we are supposed to have our lovely uh, fellow spiritual advisor at Indigo Psychics, um, life coach Miranda Wyatt. Um, she'll be a minute to be joining us. But um, while we're waiting, um, I'll start off with just a reading in general for the collective because we got this new moon that's coming up. So let's see what may be the theme for the new moon coming up. And then I'll clarify it with some cards. Let's see what we got going on. Do, do, do. Oh, this is it. Yeah. No. Uh, bear with me, y'all. Gotta get my cards out. <laughs> no. What I do with my child, please. Anyways, let's see what we got going on. What do we got here? Let's do some tea leaves. For a theme. Hey, man, Mama. Hey, Queen Cindy. How y'all doing? I got cards flying out already. Mm. <sighs> for this coming full, um, new moon in cancer um, camel card came out it says persevere you will overcome problems so don't let that one final straw break the camel's back as they say anything else we need to know and dragon beware of self delusion mm. what else do we need to know I'll grab one more and do the other half of the stack from the tea leaves. Ooh, do, do. Hold on. Uh. Hey, girl. Hey, I'm so hey. sorry about that. My laptop restarted and it stopped me. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I'm doing a real quick um, collective reading on the new moon. Okay. And then we'll just jump in from there. Okay. Girl, we got Lily and Casket. Ooh. Somebody definitely got some major releasing going on, either relationships, someone's passing, a bunch of 
major changes in their life out with the old and with the new. So let's see what's going on. Give me a clarification of what all this stuff is about persevering and letting go. Yeah, five of wands and lovers. So definitely dealing with, you know, whatever situations you got going in your relationships and everything, it's time to release that toxic BS associated with it from all the fighting and, you know, use this new moon to cut and release. So I hope this was helpful for anybody of the collective. Use this because cancer, you know, dealing with the family situation and home life and all that kind of stuff. So whatever's been going on in the family home life, make sure you do a major deep cleanse and um, pay like the 417, 432, 528, those type of frequencies and everything that would really help you out. Oh, <laughs> my mom Moon says, yes, inheritance, baby. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Miss Peggy says, hello from the Facebook. Thank you for joining us. Okay, our first question of the night. Do you want to hit it first? Um, I can if I can see it. Am I going to? I'll read it to you, out? baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'll read it to okay. you. Um, Queen Cindy wants to know, am I going to find out I'm pregnant at the end of this month? Um, am I supposed to just like tell her psychically if I can, if I can, however you want to do it, baby, <laughs> um, if you want. Uh, it takes me, a, I have to really get in the zone for something like that. That's not something I can just, just grab your cards. That's what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay. Okay. There we go. <sighs> okay. I'm shuffling. I'm just waiting for one to fly out. Um, that's, that's just how I do it, but. I, I got the king of wands flying out. That's a definite okay. yes. She going to give okay. birth to I'll, a um, male fire sign. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Shakira, darling, yes, you can be added. You just got to put your question in the comments, and we'll get to it in order. All right, dear? And remember, people, it's one question per person. If our reading for you um tonight is not in depth enough you can always um book an appointment with um, miranda or myself at indigo psychics or with any of our other lovely um and advisors that we have at indigo psychics um also another good one to check out is my mom moon you know because we don't spill um, the tea for nothing we tell you what you need to hear we're not going to tell you what you want <laughs> indigo psychics baby okay <laughs> that's right oh girl Ooh, I got a King of Cups. If that counts, it just popped out finally. That's a yes. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. sure is. Child, you, you, like I said, you gonna have a boy. Well, I, so, I don't know if it's fire or water, but it's gonna be definitely gonna be a boy. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be a boy. All right. Well, if she's pregnant now, she's probably gonna get birth to an Aries in April. Yeah. And he's probably going to have a, a major water placement somewhere. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Next is um, Shakira. She wants to know, why does Carlos, my co-worker, keep looking at me? Probably because he finds you to be an attractive female, honey. I was going to say, I got, yeah, <laughs> um, I just got Queen of Swords. But, you know, she, she probably has some... Um, a lot of strength about her or like a strong personality in a good way. And he's just, he fascinated. He that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like, you can't help it. <laughs> right. So you got that charisma, baby. Yeah. If it's, yeah. If it's, but if it's bothering him that he's looking at you, just tell him to stop. Don't be afraid to say something, you know, don't let nobody make you feel uncomfortable, sweetie. Or let every damn manager know. Exactly. Next is May Mom Moon. She wants to. Can you pull one for me? Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah, major new beginning is coming. I got Death Card on the bottom of the deck. I got Knight of Wands. So out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about to say something fresh, which is what I was going to say. <clears throat> Shakira said he can just shoot his shot. <laughs> <laughs> he 
go, girl. Oh. Uh, definitely. Ooh, girl, the pollen today, Mother Nature was kicking my ass today. I, bet. I had to take some Benadryl. That's why um, Reverend Patience did not feel like getting all dolled up for the folk. So trust and believe me. Granted, we're not showing the cards, but we are just as in-depth, child. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yep. Mamma Moon says, yes, the power, the Baron is coming. Yes, he is. LaCroix is coming big time. Yep. I also just had a page of pentacles pop out in nowhere, too. I was just moving my hands around and it just jumped out. Mm. Ooh -wee. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny because Danny Chen just popped in and he um welcome to the show, brother Danny. He mm -hmm. says, Any words I need to hear? Blessings. I was gonna say it's for the next person, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Explain to him what the page um is for. So uh, do you have any um do you have any uh, projects coming up or anything that you're working on that you have your heart set on with uh, that you're hoping is gonna be, you know, successful in one way or another? Danny, do you have any projects that are coming like, up? I don't know. And I got the strength card. So whatever you got um, mm -hmm. endeavoring yeah. going, you got the ancestors are letting you know they got you. They're giving yeah. you the strength and everything. Yeah. Okay. Just got to let go of that how, when, and where and let them work their energies and everything. Allow the seed that you have planted to flourish you know yeah take advantage of this new moon coming up that's right Age of wands death card so definitely mm -hmm. work the magic that you need to remove the old remove yeah, all right. that kind of sledge fludge fledge <laughs> sledgehammer mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh that song came in my head sledgehammer <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you ever do that when you have having readings and everything all of a sudden a certain song is popping in your head it's like spirit okay because that's what happens to me and everything <laughs> i don't just don't hear words i hear snippets of songs and stuff because you know as i say lyrics to songs because us capricorn mm, yeah. that's how we like to really express our feelings like they say if a mm. capricorn sends you a song that's one of their favorites um listen to it closely because they're trying to uh, explain how they feel oh so, yeah they speak to me many times in music Okay. It always happens. Mm. So, mm. nobody else? Anyways, so how things have been going with you and everything while we're waiting for somebody else to be brave enough to put a question in the comments and everything. Um, let everyone know about what you got going on with your lovely courses for the ladies who have um, been dealing with narcissistic abuse because that is one of the specialities of our lovely <laughs> spiritual advisor miranda here she works with the ladies and everything um helping you to develop um your inner goddess and your dark feminine to help you heal from that narcissistic abuse and how she is a definite go-to you know for my ladies let them know what's got going on, baby. <laughs> so yeah, I do. Um, I do have the um, heal from the narcissist. Um, I've got memberships as well, but I have the the self paced courses. Those, if you get on my website, you can buy it, download it. It's yours forever. It doesn't expire or go away or anything like that. Um, and you do it at your own pace, whatever. Um, some of some of the courses are videos. Some of them are written. Um, so it just depends, you know. But both of all the courses are pretty jam packed because I put so much work into them and they take me weeks and or maybe a month or, or more to put together because I, I sit there and I I work for like whole days on things you know but right. um, I've got um, for the courses I have um, stop attracting narcissists step into the dark feminine um, healing the wounded feminine and also I have a um, complete uh, advanced breaking master teacher course which has been fabulous um that that one does sell a lot it sells more than i thought it would um awesome. and that comes yeah that comes with um the attunement i schedule your attunement and um you know i'll get you i'll, I'll make you a certificate and stuff like that and um i learned it under melissa Prohurst, 
So mm -hmm. um, Melissa is, is kind of at the top and I made sure that when I did learn, I was gonna get it for the best. So, <clears throat> right. Um, and then I have memberships as well. Um, Cause I figured people needed an in-between thing where they could still get one-on-one -on -one with me, but not, uh, not have, if they weren't sure about doing like a whole 12 week deep dive, you know, hardcore, they could just do a membership and it'd be like, you still get one-on-one -on -one with me. Just like, it would just be like video calls once a week, but it's a group thing, but um, that's still time with me and it's still learning and it's still um, value because, you know, we sit and I go over ideas and concepts and I go deep in my, in my stuff. My videos are like an hour long each. So um, there's a lot of that. And <clears throat> I am, I'm thinking about making a course on how I do witchcraft. Um, I don't know how big that course is going to be. <laughs> Probably going to be big. Might be bigger than the ones I've already got. So I am considering putting something like that together. I just really got to organize my thoughts with it because it's going to be a lot. And so I'm thinking. What's wrong with that? that make, it a, um, make it a volume yeah. series, man. Yeah. And that's Definitely. actually not a bad idea. Definitely. You know, and that maybe. might be a good too actually but, you know, that's oh yeah and and maybe in the future you might be at a convention in vegas teaching <laughs> yeah i know that yeah right wink that, wink it's gonna be amazing that's wink, right, wink. Yeah. <laughs> i'm not dropping too many details yet but we just put it out there in the ether baby <laughs> that's right. mm. oh yeah you know what's funny I've had about 12 different people in the last two weeks seeking me out, you know, through my personal Facebook page and the messengers. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not friends with them, but they, you know, I have my personal page as a business page as well. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I'm in New Orleans. Um, I want to come see you and get a reading. I'm like, what is it about me that people think I'm in New Orleans? I have never claimed mm -hmm. to be from New Orleans or live in New Orleans. Yeah. And, so I, and I tell them straight up, I'm sorry um, for your inconvenience, but I don't live there. That's the only right. thing in New Orleans I got is enemies, baby. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> and all my enemies are freaking Yankees. They're not even from originally New Orleans, girl. Okay. And that is, yeah. Well, as they say down now, the the true practitioner, especially of voodoo, don't live in the French Quarter, baby. Those are a bunch yeah. of Yankees um, trying to appropriate. Mm -hmm. uh, that's true. The the southern cities that have have been run uh, have been run by them for um, you know obviously almost two hundred years. So, oh um, yeah, you know people come down here and look at our cities and and go by that, but that's not you can't do that. <laughs> Right, we, we don't run any of that now. That's that's been at our hands for a long time. Oh yeah, and it and the sad part is that everything the ancestors they want to purge. Yes, you know, just like after the Civil War, they took a tired of the carpet baggers coming down to down to the south and trying <laughs> to create southern ways of doing things. It's like take your Yankee butt back up north, especially to New England, and stay with you at and everything. You know, go back to Harry Potter land. You know, well, I mean, <laughs> if anybody wants to know what I call Harry Potter land, that, that's um, Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure Salem has its good points, and and uh, the north, the north can have its good points. Um, but you know, and, and a lot of them I meet are perfectly fine. But but there are some um, that come here because I'm in Alabama. For anyone who, who doesn't know where I'm located, and and there are some that come here and just uh, talk to me like like i'm just subhuman i just <laughs> but they come oh, here and buy houses and i uh -huh. come here and buy a house I, I don't know why you'd want to be around all these animals you know all these uh, uh untamed animals if if you're so superior to them and, but yet you want to live here live out the not and not just live here but live out the, the remainder of your days here bridge you know? baby yeah <laughs> I, but i don't i try not to be hateful because I don't want, I just, you know, I don't want to seem that way, but sometimes it's just like I have things thrown in my face and they don't realize they come down here and a lot of them will, will mock the working classes here, which I, I'll never understand ever because <laughs> a lot of them act like they don't have working classes up there and that's not true. Oh, um, no. That's not true. And I don't, so, I, I, but <laughs> alas. My lovely little, my lovely little sister, May Mom Moon's calling me out. She goes, "You petty tonight." I said, 
I can't help it, baby. <laughs> I'm trying not to be, but just, you know. After years of bullshit these assholes have been putting me personally through, it's like, I, I'm tired of it. I, you know, they're not worthy of speaking any names and everything, but I will mention about foolishness. That's the yeah. reason why they don't like somebody like me, you know, and someone like Miranda. <clears throat> We're the real deal. You know, we can call you out on your bullshit, you know, and that's why when you come to us and everything, yeah, we piss a lot of people off because we don't tell them what the, we don't sugarcoat. We're not bakeries. You know what I'm saying? We can't. Not with our clients. We can't. I know. They deserve to know the truth. I know about, I don't know about you, but I know for, for a fact for me, if I even thought about, let alone started conducting myself that way, my ancestors would whoop my ass. Yeah, yeah, they're expecting you know, that. that's and right. Yeah, I know for a fact spiritual spankings are real, and you don't want, yeah, them, you know, and that's, that's why straight idea. up, I tell, I tell people straight up, this is what I'm hearing in my ear. If it hurts your feelings, I'm sorry, but this yeah. is what this is what's up. Like, I had recently had one lady, she's a lawyer, and she's obsessed with this married man. And of course, you know, she's looking for somebody to tell her that he's gonna leave the wifey and all that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And of course, Barry said, uh, no, him flirting with her was just the ego stroke for him. <laughs> you don't right, think of yeah. any kind of way, baby. Yeah. After the fifth time calling me, finally she leaves a bad review saying I had no empathy. It said, baby, I have empathy. I have plenty of empathy. The thing is, I don't have sympathy for stupidity. And you trying to come and talk to me like I am an idiot. Like, I don't know that you are sitting here asking the same questions. She called me six mm -hmm. times asking the same questions 20 different ways and think I wouldn't mm -hmm. catch on. And the person mm -hmm. that referred this woman to me even forewarned her. Um, that um, yeah. reputations will call you out on your shit. And I did. And she didn't like it, you know, because I finally said to her, just like she would ask me a question. I said, I already asked answered that question was with such and such card. Oh, yes. Yes, you did. And then she asked another question, you know, even though she asked it before. And I called her out. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, yes. Yes, you did answer that. I said, ma'am, mm -hmm. I am not stupid. Okay. Right. You come to it. Oh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Just because you hear a southern accent, you think I'm some dumb exactly. country. Exactly. No, honey. Exactly. I'm country, hood, and highly educated. That's right. Doctorates and mm -hmm. master's degrees. Okay. Trust and believe me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Women like us do not take advantage of our kindness because as that's extremely right. kind people we can be, we can be the complete opposite because that's one thing about an empath. Once we decide there's no hope for a situation and we have to go dark and show you what we're truly capable of, we become your worst nightmare, baby. You know, well, not that's like that, but so, sometimes there's, there's only so many ways you can remedy or, or, or cleanse a situation and sometimes it just it, it's got to be done a certain way and i mean our ancestors who lived in villages you know wouldn't have thought twice about that but, you know because they had to do that because they knew that there was only so many options for for preserving a certain thing or, or getting a point across or Mm -hmm. or, or surviving or something like that and and sometimes you just have to go hardcore and 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 that's when you know, with, with our clients, we say, look now, uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> exactly. this, 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 you're just going to have to take it. Exactly. You know, but, and with and her being a lawyer, you know, I, I don't know if she'll ever hear this, but I don't have nothing bad to say about her because I, I don't know her, but, you know, she um, is uh, in a prestigious uh, position, you know, in, in, in her career and in, in her life. And she, she doesn't need to be lowering herself by, uh, pulling out her hair over some married guy there's there's other men you know exactly I mean, exactly if, if, but he, if he was into her she's probably she's probably pretty you know she's smart she, she mm -hmm. makes she's got plenty of her own money you know she, she's her life she's gonna be all right there's gonna be other men out there there always are exactly exactly and you know he's one of those guys who married up well and do um you know she's indian you know and mm -hmm in an arranged marriage it showed in the cards and he's never going to leave his wife because that's his um bread and butter right it's her family who has the money not him mm. he was because of title you know like one of those princes mm. with no money type you know what i'm saying mm, yeah yeah they she married him for the prestige of, of his family's name and she met and he married her for the family money you know what i mean yeah, yeah. you know 
love ain't got nothing to do with it type of shit. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, he may be hoeing around and everything, but he ain't never gonna leave his wife. You know, because mm -mm. I always do like an Akashic record reading on couples and everything. Mm, yeah. Confirm if they are written in as a divine couple or this is just a karmic lesson type of mm -hmm. situation. And it and it showed that the even though the husband and wife are not in love, they're still a divine couple. Yeah. And yeah. You know, so I'm not going to break up a family. Oh, right. we got another, a new one. Okay. Yes, you can be added to the list, Miss Sherry. Just put your question into the comments, honey, when you're ready. Okay. So when Miss Sherry is ready, we will flip some cards for her. Okay. I've had two of them sitting here in front of me so far. I just haven't mentioned because I didn't know if somebody else was going to pop up. But I guess they are. When she asks, I'll, I'll give I'll give what they are. Huh. Queen Cindy says, I wish my friend um, Flexania would um, come on here. Well, tell her to jump on. Send her a link. Uh, Sherry says, what's coming towards me in love soon? And right when she said that and popped up her question and everything, I had the seven of cups come up. And that's letting me know that because you don't know exactly yourself, what you want and deserve, you're settling for anything because you don't yeah. want to be alone yeah. and everything. Yeah. That's why the seven of cups is coming up and everything. You need to get precise, baby. Okay. Yeah. One of the things I um, teach my students is you get a piece of paper, write down two columns. The left column is starting from the most recent to the very first relationship you could think of dealing with your relationships. Okay. And then by yeah. each name of those X's, write only the good attributes, nothing bad, but whether it be physical, spiritual, emotional, what it was about them that you fell in love with. Take a pair of scissors, cut down the middle of the columns, Roll away the name of the exes, burn mm -hmm. it in a fireproof pot, and give thanks for them showing you the, uh, what you did not want and what you truly deserve. And then you read mm -hmm. off those attributes, letting um, what it is that you work with and everything. This is what you want. And you roll that toward you and you put it out of sight, out of mind. And then as you're waiting for that beautiful soul to come to you, you need to work on your shadow work. That's why, you know, it's definitely like hook up with my girl Miranda here to help you with that and get in tune and find, figuring out what you need to heal on yourself. So when this beautiful soul comes, you are not making them pay for the past. That's, so that's the problem and everything because of people not truly loving themselves unconditionally and keep chasing yeah. everything externally and settling for anything because you don't want to be alone. And that's yeah. how we get into these toxic relationships and everything. So definitely, I highly recommend hooking up with my girl Miranda here to help you figure out what it is that you need to get healing on so you are prepped and ready. And, um, so when this beautiful soul that you call um, into your life, you're in the right place emotionally, mentally, exactly. and spiritually. You know? Yeah. Granted, it's not going to happen overnight because that's not real life, but the whole point is you making that freaking effort to get yourself in the right place so you are prepared for that person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Queen Cindy says, Flexan wants to know if the guy she has been seeing for two years is right for her or is he cheating on her? Okay. What's causing her doubts to even ask that question? Uh, yeah. Sherry says, thank you, love. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> Okay, now I got um, two of cups, ten of pentacles, uh, nine of cups. So that sounds awfully good to me. But I do wonder why she she wonders if if he's cheating at all. Is there something? Um, I got honey, the three is, of swords and the three of pentacles. She's allowing her thoughts get the better of her. Yes. Yes. Okay, and that's another thing. Like I said to the other lady, you got to work on some subconscious <laughs> stuff. You are projecting onto this person because from what Miranda said, everything's fine and good. There ain't no cheating mm -hmm. and everything, but you <clears throat> are going to be the person that sabotages this relationship because of your mindset thing and he fooling around with other folks. 
You need to get in there and work on your self-esteem. We got on the playlist under self-care and self-love here on Indigo Psychics on the YouTube. Go under there. Mm-hmm. There's some really good ones to listen to and everything. And also, too, if need be, um, like I said, hook up with my girl Miranda. She could really help you out, you know, getting out of your mind. Ten of swords. Or excuse me, nine of swords. Yeah, you need to get out of your mindset because. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you are projecting onto this relationship the hurts you've had from the past. You're waiting for the shoe to drop. So you tell the universe you want this relationship to have the shoe to drop. Okay. That's right. That's so right. you got to get in that mindset before you sabotage this good thing. Okay. <laughs> Queen Cindy says, You are the goat. Man. <laughs> Call me Black Phillip, baby. That's right. <laughs> hey, you took mine. <laughs> hey, you I'm a Capricorn. It. I'm a Capricorn, baby. The That's devil right, yeah. is my sign, honey. That's true. <laughs> All hell about for me. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Ooh, darling, the born again hypocrite's going to have fit. <laughs> yeah, really. Like I tell. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Ross, we can pull a card for you, baby. I mean, is there anything specific you want to know or just pull a card and see what comes up? Oh, I, and the funny thing is my girl, Nicole, went off on this person because I was um, starting to, because like I said, I converted my personal page into a business page mm-hmm. and I was promoting my link for Indigo Psychics. And mm-hmm. this lady, I've never given a ribbon for in my life. I had a nerve to leave the thing on there saying I was a, um, that all tarot readers are scammers. And she mm-hmm. just went, off. I was like, how dare you? This is a spiritual ministry. This is not, <laughs> I was like, girl, don't even waste your time in the business industry. Just band and delete. Just trust and believe right. me, people. Majority of the time, I know personally for myself, the reason why I even get the cards out is for your entertainment, okay? It's having yeah. all the players, you know, literally <clears throat> since I was a child, being able to read people present, you know, past, present, future. What chapter do you want, you know? And I'm sat there and had sessions with people, and they still, well, aren't you going to pull some cards? You know, my smart ass side comes out and everything, and then it, all my cards are just confirming. And this card, remember when I said blah blah blah? Well, this is confirmation on that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another card comes out. Well, remember, this card is confirmation on this and everything. Claude says, just pull a card, okay? Let's see what's going on. I got the two of swords. You are indecisive about something, you need to make a decision, baby. I was just about to say, because I got King of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Nine of Cups. So um, to start on whatever it is you need to start on, you, uh, you got to believe in yourself and believe in your own potential and trust that you have what it takes um, to do whatever it is you're, you're about to set out to do or that you've got on your mind. I can see why they're feeling <clears throat> indecisive and everything, because they just recently went through a tower moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and it, since you've already had the tower moment... Because I don't see it already coming up. I'm experiencing <clears throat> telling in my heart that it's already happened and it's made you feel on shaky ground. That's why you're feeling mm-hmm. indecisive or whatever this decision is. Um, they're saying it's time to rebuild, remodel, redo. Like right, that was a cleanse. Yeah, yeah. Especially with these retrogrades that are even coming up even more, jumping in the yeah. pool with everything else. This is yeah. the time to really redo, revise. You know, so you can relaunch. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that was um, hell for you. Anybody else? Don't be scared. <laughs> mm. I know somebody's been going through some major healing heartbreak for the past three months because I got the lover's card and the three of swords. Mm. Use this cancer new moon to heal on that. Right. You know? <sighs> Claude says, thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. My pleasure to help. And don't, and guys, don't forget to like, share, and everything. Get those notifications, you know, because you never know when we throw in cards. You know, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Time Zone, live here on Indigo Psychics, both on the Facebook and the YouTube. And also, if you guys ever want to, you know, feel gracious enough to give donations to help support um, what we do here on the channel. You can, um, there on the YouTube, they have a little heart with a dollar sign. Those are like dollars. You can um, give your donations through there. Uh, it's always highly appreciated. We'll help in the production of our lovely channel here so we can bring our 
advisors and other people that we interview and readings and to help y'all at Indigo Psychics TV. Here on Spiritual Tea Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, girl. Let me see. <sighs> Anybody I just else? just had a Queen of Swords jump out. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Whoa. Oops, and I, I heard that. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're flying cards everywhere. I got five, the Queen of, you got the Queen of Swords, and I got the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Okay. Somebody's definitely fighting over some major money issues and everything. Yeah. And yeah. also. You know, and also, you know, you need to get yourself out of that like mindset and thinking everybody's a competition. It's exactly, yeah. Okay, I, I'm hearing from spirit. You think people that's just are a competition, but they're not. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's from that scarcity and lack mindset, and that's going to cause yourself sabotage. So definitely, like I said, you know, I know I sound like a broken record, but use because for a lot of ma major, especially of the cardinal fixed signs. Yeah. The, Use advantage of this new moon. You know, it's going to be dramatic for the better, for the positive and everything. Um, on the, I got great playlists here on the uh, Indigo Psychics YouTube channel to help with business, for, um, for bringing in clients, another playlist for removing financial difficulties, another one helping you to um, get out of that, you know, scarcity lack mindset so you can get rid of debt and start saving. Um, other one is just for a general um, building financial security. And like I um, teach my clients about sleep meditation, you use those while you sleep using mm -hmm. your subconscious because while we're sleeping, those uh, filters are all turned off and it goes straight you know, so you're not being triggered by old mindsets and all that kind of good stuff. And it's, trust me, you see a world of difference. And it, yes, it is that simple. I've had people, wait a second, what's the catch? You know, right. life is hard because you keep speaking it. Your financial mm -hmm. lack of it is because you keep thinking it and speaking it. That's you right. got to keep saying to yourself that whatever it is that you need, especially dealing with your finances, is going to come to you easily and effortlessly. Concentrate on solutions, not the problem. Stop letting yourself get caught up on trying to, because of that trauma you've been through in your life, you want to control the how, when, and where. Okay? Yeah. And I'm yeah. constantly saying to you, babies, no matter what your spiritual um, practice is or your religious practice is, whatever you work with, those that are walking with you and providing you and protecting you, that's a slap in their face when you're not having that true faith. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay? Give it over to them and let them do the work. Remember, finance, money, and everything, that's energy. Keep thinking to yeah. yourself, all money I spend is positive energy that goes up to the community. It comes back to me blessed a thousand fold. I always will have it enough in my pocket, more than I need, so I can live my best life deliciously by helping others. Oh, thank you, Miss Lavidia. Miss Lavidia gave us a $5 donation tonight. Thank you, darling. Thank you. And Miss yeah. Cindy says, thank you, ladies. We are more than happy to tell your friend we are happy to help. So, definitely work on that mindset people and also i think about money um that people with money trauma a lot of them are uh, it, it's like our nervous systems um assume after a certain point that that money is um it, it, because it's hard for the one person to get that it's it's not out there to have and they think that it's it's scarce money's not scarce money's everywhere and there's more printed every day Exactly. Yeah. Money yeah, has exactly. value because the powers that be tell you it have money. Yeah. Um, yeah. It has value. Okay. We're the only species that pays to be on this planet, people. How we <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you, that's like I said, you need to concentrate and realize it is energy. And the more positive mindset we are, the more positive blessings we have. When you're being negative and worrying and everything, you are causing your own blockage. It's not something external and everything. I Like I have one student did a... Um, was doing a candle and everything for herself. And it literally was mm -hmm. like solid carbon black on a seven day mm -hmm. window candle. See, mm -hmm. see, someone was hexing me. And I have, yeah, yeah. you know, and I read the energy off the picture she had sent me and, and uh, no, honey, you are all over that. That's you and your yeah, mindset. Yeah. 
and everything. That's why you are blocked. That's why the job that you want is not coming to you because you want this instantaneous, instantaneous. And guess what? You need, like I said, you've planted the seed and you expect the fruit two seconds later. You got to allow the energies to work allow it to grow and blossom and do its thing you know and that's why they tell you just like even in the christian concept meditate in the word you pray it Mm -hmm. up you give it over to whoever it is that you work with and then go um listen to your subliminals and stuff and take a nap so you're not worrying about it and then before you know it boom it's right there comes quicker than you expect yeah you know and like one of my favorite things that um, I make a habit of saying to myself, like when I go to bed at night, that I'm a money magnet. Money falls to my feet. I attract money mm-hmm. when I'm not, even when I'm not working, even while I sleep. Large mm-hmm. amounts of money follow me everywhere I go. They are assessed with me by the power of three times three. I will so, so shall it be. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, an, mm-hmm. or another one is like people worrying about bringing in, you know, clients and everything. Like I had one gentleman out of Haiti. And of course, you know, I love it when I meet Haitians and everything. They start talking mm-hmm. and you know, realizing who and where I am in Haitian Bodu. Okay. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't talk about everything that I practice. In right. my and I literally finish his sentences. And it's like, I know the rituals and everything. Because, but you're not, I said, um, I think you uh-huh. the main, and he goes, I know I'm not a mumbo. Okay. Yeah. But I'm I'm much scarier than a mambo. And he goes, What's that? Yeah. Mean? I said, um, I think the men you call them a boko, boku. Okay. Mm-hmm. The female version is a manji. And mm-hmm. he goes, I said, trust, trust yeah. me. Manji knows for a fact. That's right. You don't always have to do those stupid rituals of seven days, That's nine right. days, and twenty-one days. They I want don't. the simple prayers of gratitude yeah. every Every morning because the, yeah. our ancestors didn't have all those fancy things all the time. Yeah. Okay. And if you can't give those simple prayers of gratitude to whoever that you work with and everything, they're not, they're going to withhold stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why they withholding stuff and everything is because you acting like an ungrateful child and you're only calling on stuff when you need stuff. You know, yeah. their relationships you have with whoever you work with spiritually in your spiritual court. It's no different than your physical relationships in life. It's a two-way street. You know, you keep being a selfish, yep. one-sided person and everything. After a while, people stop talking. Well, that's the same thing in the spiritual world. That's you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> Queen says, he says, um, thank you, ladies. Love y'all. Have a good night, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so definitely, people, make sure you're keeping up that, you know, positive, you know, thing. Because also, too, once after I sent him part of the conversation in Haitian Creole, he, he realized, um, oh, shit, she knows what the hell mm-hmm. she's talking about. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. I, I, I learned my stuff from a lovely little Haitian man that had a um, botanica on 46th Street mm-hmm. on Broadway in West Palm Beach, Florida, when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Yep. And it was named St. Benedict's. Oh, okay. Yep. He's a patron saint against black magic. We still got a few more minutes, y'all. Anybody else? See what else we got going on. Oh, well, just real quick for the collective, you got the bottom of the deck, six of cups. Yeah, definitely work on that inner child. Yeah. Self-conscious. Yeah. Yeah. Cancer is the mother sign of the zodiac. So this is especially working on any of those mother wounds, dealing with toxic femininity and everything. Again, Hit up my girl Miranda. She got some really great programs to help you, especially my ladies and everything, you know. So, and also, too, any of the issues that you may have, daddy issues that you may have as well, she can help you with that. Mm, yeah, that's true. Because the subconscious issues that we have with our parents spills over into our adult relationships. That's for sure. People don't realize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, and I am so glad I finally, you know, did that for myself so I could mm-hmm. finally be married to my fourth and favorite husband. Mm-hmm. This girl, the path I personally was on, I talked about it before. I mean, put it this way, by the time I got to the third husband, I, I got a scar underneath the left eye to remind me never why I should have mm-hmm. been in the first place. Yeah. But, yeah, that was, you know, trip to the hospital type of situation mm-hmm. and everything. And, 
after 10 and a half years, I, you know, when I see certain women go through, you know, people are like, it's so easy. Just pack up your shit and leave. No, well, it's not. Part, exactly. Exactly. When, especially in, when you are in a relationship with someone who's literally a demon in the flesh, you yeah. need that help especially on the spiritual level. I finally admitted that I did not have the strength to do it myself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I called upon because like, I remind my ladies and everything, you are not weak to ask for yeah. help. True right. royalty knows that in order to keep your empire and your queendom going strong, you need those allies, those physically in your life and spiritually in your life to keep up the strength and everything because that's what you know powerful nations do they have allies to help them in times of war as they say and, you yeah. know and, and getting out of those relationships is literally spiritual warfare sometimes yes you know and not just on the physical level yeah so definitely don't ever feel ashamed you know to call out and need help and everything and trust me i know miranda and i know for myself because the situations we've been through in our life and what we've done to right. heal ourselves. You know what it takes to get yourself on that healing path and everything. And so we can tell if you're true, all right? Or you're just one of those ones that are addicted to toxic relationships, like a crackhead is the crack, and you're just seeking attention, okay? Because yeah. most of the fluff, okay? Yeah. You know, and oh, cause trust me, I've had people and everything, you know, try to call me out. And it's like, yeah, trust and believe me. I understand what you're going through. I could tell you some horror stories. All right. That's probably even, um, that's even worse than some of y'all have been through, but I'm not, you know, but the thing is, is that I'm not trying to come from ego just to show that living proof. If I can do it, you can do it, but you gotta right. want it. That's right. Yeah. You and gotta hit rock bottom and, and know that you've hit your lowest point and that you're you're done with it. Mm-hmm. You're exactly. done marinating in it. Yeah. Exactly. You know. But like I said, we can tell if you're just, you know, shooting the shit and everything and pulling our mm -hmm. um string, you know, pulling our leg and you know, we'll tell you to get stepping. Because if you don't yeah. truly want to help yourself and get out of that situation and become the true queen and goddess you ladies deserve to be. Yeah. No, we're not going to waste our time because there's other people out there that truly need us. Yeah, you know, oh, that's it's another thing. In just in general, are those one of my biggest pet peeves are those type of clients that go from reader to reader to reader to reader to reader. To reader, to reader mm -hmm. and or oh well, so I got a reading from so and so, and they said this, this, and it. And I don't give a fuck what anyone. <laughs> okay, that's all right. I tell you what spirit tells me to tell you. And if it's, it's confirmation, then let it be. But it's yeah. not, then I, I am telling you what you need to hear at that point in time, whether it's confirmation yeah. of another reader or not. Okay. Yeah. And that's, that's like, like I said, that's one of my big, I don't care, you know? And if you don't like, you know, my, our straightforwardness, then go call somebody who's going to, you know, you can waste your money with and blow hot up air up gas and everything. Yeah. Don't get it yeah. here, baby. <laughs> that's yeah. for sure. I hurt your feelings. <laughs> I mean, for, if somebody, well, I mean, and if somebody's going to pay money for help, I mean, why would you, it's, if, if you're going to pay money for help, you, you deserve to know the truth. If you're that desperate, exactly. you know what I'm exactly. saying? You deserve to know the truth. I, I'm not going to take your money and then just say, well, you know, um, he loves you. Go ahead and stick with him. Blah, blah. No, I'd rather you um get in, in a in a better place with a better person if that's the case you know and i'm going to tell yeah. you that because that's you deserve to know that as a human being amen amen you know, and i'm not why would i lie to you and, and just tell you something that that your fear want, wants to hear because your fear doesn't need to be leading the way your your um your soul needs the clarity and i'm not i don't do it any other way i don't do exactly. it any other way exactly Exactly. Go watch all my videos. Yeah, go watch all my videos and see how straightforward I am with shit and how honest I am. And and you'll see that I don't I don't operate any other way. I'm the same asshole every day. I'm the same straightforward, clear, you right. know, person every day. I'm not going to change. I don't I don't change it up. And I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not Willy Wonka. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, I can't exactly. Do that. We ain't a big here, honey. I ain't making donuts, honey. Yeah. Um, besides Indigo Psychics, please let everybody know how they could find you on your social medias. Okay. So if you want, you can go to my website, MirandaWyattLifeCoach.com. 
and everything is on there, all everything that I offer. Um, I have my 12 week programs, self paced courses, um, memberships, um, a couple of extra offers, and I have um, healing therapies on there as well. And then I even have um, affiliate links where you can get on there and sign up and sell my courses. Like if you're into my stuff and you like my content, you want to make a little bit of money, get on there, uh, sign up for your link and and sell my courses and you get commissions. Um, If you scroll down to the bottom of all my links, there's everywhere you can follow me and stuff. And um, then you can sign up for um, email updates and stuff like that. And I don't like flood emails, whatever. I send an email probably about once every week or two. and, And that's it, just with updates, whatever. Um, and then you can follow me wherever, message me out on, on my other accounts, all that kind of good stuff, get in touch with me. And then I, I the website that I'm using, it, it let me do payment plans, but it didn't give me a whole lot of options. So if you're on my website and you need a payment plan that's different from what you see on there, just get in touch with me um, and we'll set something else up for you. It's not a big deal. I do that with a lot of people. So, you know, everybody's financial situation is different. So if you can't do whatever's on there, just get in touch with me. We'll figure something else out. It's not even a big deal. I don't want to just stress it out. Sounds awesome. Um, since we got the new moon coming up on the 17th, Monday and Cancer mm-hmm. and that mother sign, um, my nickname for the goddess gen- um, feminine energy, I call her big mama. You know, mm-hmm. Yeah. Goddesses. And so I got my goddess Oracle cards and Athena came out and the butterfly maiden came out. Mm-hmm. This is inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. That's right. And then for the butterfly maiden, she says transformation. That's you are right. experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. You know, like I said, use this time to remove that karmic sludge that's holding you back on the subconscious. Easy way to yeah. do it. You know, listen to the subliminals and the subagio frequencies and stuff like that. That's right. Yeah, you know, and if you don't like what we have on the playlist, you can always find other ones. Just type it is what you're trying to work on, and you can find some kind of video for it. Put it where you just barely hear it and take a nap. You That's know, right. That's just exactly what I do. You know, because yeah. you know, people think there's so many traditions and everything because they're built on ego. Then you got to do all these fancy rituals and shit. You know, right. honey. It's, the most powerful form of energy work, spell work, whatever you want to call it, is taking advantage of your subconscious while you sleep. That's right. Because all those um, self-sabotaging mindsets filters are turned off. And it's yeah. scientifically proven that our subconscious is much more powerful than our awakened mind. That's right. Also, to Bottle of the Deck, Aphrodite says, inner goddess, let her out. Awaken the goddess within through dance self-care and appreciating your divinity mm, yeah okay uh ladies get that belly dancing going on or put some That's of your right. favorite music on from back in the day you know to me that helps me get in tune um with my inner child mm-hmm. and everything you know especially mm-hmm. like when, when i'm cleaning the house and everything i'm you know playing mm-hmm. through all my music and all that kind of stuff yeah you know, like snow i said whistle while you work that's right <laughs> that's right oh, oh and for those don't be scared what i would when i whistle the things i got going on and everything trust me they behave mm-hmm. hey some of the mountain us country folk um raised up you're not supposed to whistle at night yeah I, i've heard that too yeah i ain't scared because i got friends on the other side and when i whistle they come <laughs> they come call that's right you know and trust and believe me that's why everyone, I'm like I'm always saying, please treat everyone with love and kindness because you don't know where they rank in the spiritual realm. That's right. Where they have, you know, because if you, you know, we disrespect them folk, some people, like I've said before, you make one tear go down their face, <laughs> whatever is in their spiritual court is going to check them and check you, excuse me. And then after they're done checking you, by the time that person finds out, they don't have to lift a finger. All they got to do right. is prayers of gratitude and an offering of thanks. So yeah, please show everybody some love and respect. That's you know, because you if you want it from other people, you gotta show it. You know, law of reciprocity. That's both a spiritual and scientific right. law, people. Okay. Even Ooh. I've got a couple of stories like that of um, a couple of old boyfriends that that really, you know, did me dirty and, and if I, I won't 
put names out there, but if you could see them now, because I know there's situations now, and if, and if you could see that, I it just forget it. <laughs> just forget it. <laughs> oh, I feel you, honey. Um, put it this way. Um, by the time my ancestors got done with my first husband, you mm-hmm. didn't wish for to talk to his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, just, they, you know. they literally picked his ass apart. First, they gave mm-hmm. him hepatitis C and cirrhosis of the liver. Mm-hmm. Then he lost his um, left arm in a motorcycle accident. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and then um, when he, because when he was under the influence, when he had the accident and everything, him mm-hmm. and his buddies um, were at war with the outlaws down there in Orlando, Florida, back in the early 2000s. Um, he had it um you know how when someone's under the influence of alcohol they give you that stuff that sobers you up well when he sobered up he yeah. looked over and saw his arm on ice so he pulled the trach and everything out and ripped a hole in his tra- um, tracheotomy oh. and um in his throat and so um finally when we had gone to court i could see how he was done and i told him yeah. you know what you can have that little boy because by the end of the year before october you're gonna be dead motherfucker. yeah He's, bitch bitch because it was just me and him we were um the court was having a break for lunch and everything Mm -hmm. he was just sitting there and it was just me sitting there in the courtroom Mm -hmm. and everything and i whispered that in his ear and lo and behold october 22nd -hmm. from (laughs) he was on the operating table and he died of a heart attack Mm -hmm. like i tell Mm -hmm. people don't do people wrong yeah and the thing, and you know, all I did was just, um, I did a job where I just asked that all the harm and negativity you had done unjustifiably against me and my son shall be um, heaped upon you because he was an yeah. abusive narcissist. Mm-hmm. And lo and behold, oops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh my ex what what did my um racist ex mother in law said the only reason why my mm. son was with you is because of your jigaboo voodoo. Mm. <laughs> oh whatever. I'm serious. This woman used to um, supplement her social security. Oh, that's um, what I was saying to her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She, she's he, he got kicked. She never forgave me because he literally got kicked out of the clan for having a baby with me. Oh, well, it sucks. <laughs> they didn't find out that I had black in my ass until I got a test done for sickle cell because she's she had taken me to my um, doctor's appointment. And she's like, why are you getting a test for sickle cell? Only niggas got sickle cell. Oh um, God. I looked at her and said, well, I'm half Puerto Rican and um, guess what? It runs in my family and I just want to make sure I'm not a carrier for it because I've never been truly mm-hmm. tested. My and dad I'm, was a carrier. I, I, I'm luckily I found out and everything. You know, you're, you're Creole like I am, baby. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, my with, uh, with the babies. European mixture and everything, and the Puerto Rican, you got the Taino in you, and the black in you, and everything. And literally in Puerto Rico, they call it Criolla. Most Creoles are mm-hmm. Latinos, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, be proud of that spiciness, honey. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> we part of the same show. I, I think so too. I think so too. Yeah, because <laughs> we I've thought about that. Yeah, we got white mamas and Puerto Rican daddies. Yeah. A little bit of everything. Oh God! And then I have more European. Um, when you look, at, it's like the whole mixture is just it's so fascinating. And that's why I said to people, you know, I honor all my ancestry, the good, bad, and mm-hmm. ugly, and mm-hmm. everything. And that's what you know my ministry is about: teaching people about that. You know, yeah. I'm not part of any form of major religion. Yeah, never seems to be. You know, because I strongly respect and, you know, people's spiritual path with your ancestors. It's your personal business. Right. And and sometimes, you know, people don't realize when you're adopted, you take yeah. on the ancestors of your adoptive family. Mm-hmm. Especially when you grow up with certain grandmothers and aunties and uncles and grandfathers, whatever. You know, That's that, right. you know, they're still watching over you as a spirit guide. And then also, too, your aunts, you know, when you show true appreci- um, appreciation of other ancient cultures that mm-hmm. are say, not of your life in this lifetime. That's probably because you were there in another life. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Because like I said, I, like I tell people, there's a difference between showing proper appreciation and appropriation, you know, yeah. appropriation right. is picking and choosing what you want and trying to say, this is the real deal. And it's not, you know, That's just, right. you know, too many people are doing that. But 
Again, thank you so much, sweetheart, for coming on the show, as always. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, you know it. You know, we're going to be having you again, baby, because, you know, <laughs> that's what we do here at Indigo Psychics. You know, we want to see you living your best life. So especially my ladies, you know, hook up with my girl Miranda here. If, Like I said, if not through Indigo Psychics, you can always find her out on the Instagram or the Facebook and everything. Um, she has a fabulous Facebook group on how to stop, you know, you know, dealing with, you know, narcissistic abuse and everything. So it definitely a good group, I have to admit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're doing fabulous work. I'm, I'm very proud of what you're doing, you know, thank you. And, um, so please everyone have a fabulous night. Make sure you love and respect your fellow human beings. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Love you. Mwah. Bye.